Gaming Caviar. Gaming News. Okay, so not having it in the Game Caviar studio. It's Friday, so you know it's Game News time. I know I haven't put up any videos this week. I've been very busy taking care of the kids and school and work. I switch shifts. But anyway, enough of that. Let's roll right into the, the meat of this video, the news. I'm playing Max Payne 3 online, by the way, which is awesome. If you buy a PS3 game, you get a free Vita game. This is a rumor that's going around, and the way that it, that it goes is that if you buy a PS3 game, then you would ultimately get the Vita uh, version of that game for free. Now, not every game has a Vita version. Assassin's Creed 3 is the game that comes to mind. If you get that game, then you would get the Assassin's Creed Liberation, I believe it's called, for Vita. This is a way that Sony is going to put more life into Vita. I, I'm also making a prediction that they're going to make a price cut for the Vita, and that it will also help the Vita sales. Uh, some of the other things that I thought about them doing is maybe doing a PS3 Vita bundle, but I think the price cut along with this rumor, if this plan goes along, that will really help the Vita out and Sony itself is going through a, a transformation as a company and this is a good way of getting themselves back on the right track so buy a PS3 game get a Vita game this was reported by IGN and uh, Sony had put out some sort of uh, survey that people took and obviously if I got that survey I'd be like hell yeah this is exactly what I would like to have but anyway, let's move along. While I'm playing Max Payne 3, there's some bad news for Max Payne 3 on the sales front. It apparently it missed uh, the targets that the analysts or whoever thought that it was going to make. It only sold 440,000 copies in May. I, I know, only sold 440,000. I feel stupid saying that because I, I name a game caviar video game. We have sold in zero in every month. 440,000 is good, I think it's good from a consumer standpoint, but apparently it's not what Rockstar had expected, or maybe not even Rockstar, I don't know. But it's still a very good game. Still a very good game. I, I know somebody was, um, what was it, they were comparing the sales of Max Payne 3 to L.A. Noir, and it's really too early to say that. I think Max Payne 3 is going to outsell L.A. Noir. L.A. Noir was a really good game. It was a... a detective game I didn't like the game because it got old after a while it seemed like you were just repeating the same mission over and over again I'm not I don't think I'm gonna have that problem with Max Payne 3 so it misses the expectations for sales but come on with the, today's economy every game is gonna miss sales especially big-name games like this not every game but a lot of games that would normally sell a lot will miss these types of expectations because nobody has the money not no not I mean a lot of people don't have the money that they would normally have when the economy is strong and it's just the reality of the situation you know Ghost Recon was also reported to have missed expectations and that game is freaking amazing too so it's just the sign of the times moving on uh, Sony is prepping for cloud gaming now remember they we said that we had a rumor that said that they were gonna buy that uh, cloud company what was it called, Gaikai or something, and that would set up that cloud gaming, which would allow for the backwards compatibility to be brought back on the PS3, and it seems like they're sticking with that plan and are really going forward with it. Cloud gaming is the future of video games, and it is evolving. Technology is ever evolving, and this is just the next step. Cloud gaming, where you don't have a disc. You just play the games over the internet kind of sort of like uh, Netflix but for video games and they had something like that a while ago and Gamefly kind of sort of has it now and it may they may have bought that company uh, but it's going to be more evolved and I think it's going to work out well I've already started downloading games instead of buying the disc versions if it's possible and in the next gen I believe that's what's going to happen uh, let's see moving on uh, EA is looking to sell 5 million copies of Dead Space 3. I'm going to have my copy. I love that game. It's going to be amazing. Uh, Microsoft will unveil a new tablet device on Monday. 
I don't know what it's about. I don't have that much information on it, but they're coming out with the tablet. They, they're throwing their hand into the tablet game, which is very gangster uh, because of Apple. Because Apple will sue any other company and try to push all these other companies out of the tablet business as well as the phone business. So with Microsoft getting into this, it could get really ugly between Microsoft and Apple. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Xbox 360 sold 130, I mean, I'm sorry, 160,000 units in May. Not bad numbers. I don't know whether that's a rise or a fall, but 160,000 units. Uh, again, how many Game Caviar consoles have we sold? Zero. So, from my standpoint, 160,000 units is amazing. I don't know. Uh, there was a rumor that the Wii U will be stronger than the PS4. Sony has a different take on that. There was some Twitter traffic where somebody had asked somebody from Sony, and then the guy from Sony was like, let that person dream. It was basically saying that, no, there's not, Nintendo will not produce a console that will be uh, more advanced than Sony. It will not be more powerful than Sony. Uh, let's see here. The last and final thing, Double XP Weekend for Modern Warfare 3 and Battlefield 3 uh, goes through Monday and on Modern Warfare 3 is double XP for weapons and uh, overall levels so I'm going to be playing both I've already been playing both and it's amazing anyway like comment subscribe spread the word this weekend I'm going to be uploading videos constantly and we're still making a transition towards getting the Modern Warfare the Call of Duty videos on Xbox and we will be unveiling some other Xbox games that we are going to be putting to on the channel. So stay tuned for that. All right. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. And I'm out.